Hello and welcome to another special bulletin for JW Watch. Jehovah's Witnesses worldwide were informed on January 6th that the hour requirement for pioneering will be reduced as of March this year. In Jehovah's Witness parlance, a pioneer is essentially a witness who commits to pledging a set amount of time to preaching on a volunteer basis, either for an arbitrary number of months or indefinitely. The news came in the form of an update video hosted by Governing Body member Mark Sanderson. We are very pleased to announce that the Governing Body has decided to adjust the hour requirements for pioneers effective March 1st, 2023. You may want to get a pen or something to write this down. Are you ready? Here are the new requirements. For regular pioneers, the requirement will now be 600 hours per year. That is an average of 50 hours per month. For auxiliary pioneers, the requirement will now be 30 hours. But notice this, this is very exciting. During March and April, and during the month of the circuit overseer's visit, Publishers can choose to auxiliary pioneer with a reduced hour requirement of 15 hours. This should make it possible for many more of us to share as auxiliary pioneers during those months of special activity. What about special pioneers and missionaries? They will now have an hour requirement of 100 hours per month. Sisters who are serving as special pioneers or missionaries and who are 40 years of age or older have a reduced hour requirement of 90 hours. So, whereas since 1999, so-called regular pioneers have been expected to commit to 840 hours of preaching per year or 70 hours per month, this requirement has now been slashed by 28.6% so that you can now volunteer 600 hours per year or 50 hours per month to preaching and still claim the coveted title of regular pioneer. Similar adjustments have been made to the requirements for auxiliary pioneers or pioneers who pledge to do extra preaching for a limited period as well as special pioneers who receive a small stipend in exchange for pledging to work exclusively for the organization as special full-time servants. In case you're confused as to how to view these adjustments, Mark Sanderson has very helpfully supplied further guidance regarding that. How should we view these adjustments? This is powerful evidence of the great love and tender concern that Jehovah feels for his people. We want as many as possible to retain their precious privilege of serving as pioneers. And we feel that these adjustments will make it possible for many more to consider taking up the pioneer work. Since the number of people requesting Bible studies is increasing worldwide, there could never be a better time to expand our share in the ministry. So it seems the adjustment should be interpreted as a significant opportunity, especially since, according to Sanderson, the number of people requesting Bible studies is increasing worldwide. Unfortunately, this isn't quite reflected in the latest figures released by the organization. The 2020 service year report quoted a figure of 7.7 .7 million average Bible studies per month, with this figure falling to 5.9 million in 2021 and 5.7 million in 2022. But perhaps we shouldn't let facts spoil your excitement if devoting free labor to recruiting people to an organization in exchange for a title is a concept that fills you with ecstasy. Indeed, Sanderson seemed quite optimistic that the announcement might prompt more Jehovah's Witnesses to swell the pioneer ranks. If you are serving 
as a pioneer right now, we hope that you'll continue. If you're not yet serving as a regular pioneer, would it be possible for you to do so? And with the memorial season just ahead, no doubt all elders, ministerial servants, and publishers will prayerfully consider if they can auxiliary pioneer. Can you do so? We look to Jehovah to bless all of these arrangements to his glory and praise. Yes, may we all continue to do our very best to find those who are rightly disposed for everlasting life. So will this adjustment have the desired effect of boosting Bible study numbers and memorial attendance, both of which were down as of the newly released 2022 service year report, which I'll be covering in a future bulletin? Well, that remains to be seen. In the meantime, we might well ask, why is the governing body doing this? While it's claimed the move is in response to, quote, the rising cost of living, natural disasters, unrest and war, I lean towards a more pragmatic view. Preaching or field service hours, which are effectively the currency by which Jehovah's Witnesses measure their spirituality, are fast becoming like monopoly money in a group that has long struggled to attract new members in the internet age. For example, the 2022 service year report indicates that an eye-watering 1.5 billion hours were devoted to the preaching work last year for a return of only 145,000 baptisms. Compare this with 2021, when 1.4 billion hours of preaching yielded 171,000 baptisms, and you can see the problem. No matter how many hours you throw at Jehovah's Witness recruitment, the returns are diminishing, to say the least. Faced with either demanding the same number of preaching hours from an exhausted and overworked pool of pioneers, despite this currency weakening each year in real terms, or lowering the hour requirement so that the carrot of a bogus privilege could be dangled to yet more worshippers, thus keeping these busy and compliant, the governing body, in my view, has taken the most obvious option. Anyway, that's all I have time for on today's bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>